My name is Rafiq. I was born in Malaysia, but this is not my home. Nowadays, there are a lot of issues that are happening in Myanmar, like they don't like Muslims and they, they don't give us citizens and, and they, they really don't like uh, people like us. So they just, they just burning our house, you know, kill Muslim, people, Muslim Myanmar. They treat refugee community really badly. Like in hospital, they just don't care about them. They uh, give the opportunity to citizens like the Malaysian people. Refugee cannot do certain things like they can get proper job like Malaysian people. They just can work like swipe the rubbish in the street, yeah. And their salary also really, really low and I feel so sad about that. The other thing, like the refugee children, they can't go to government school because they don't have any document, like citizen, like green card. My, my education is not enough. They say like, you are a refugee and you don't have any bright future. Yeah, you'll be like suffering on this industry. They say like Myanmar is the refugee is useless. First time when I heard that I feel really sad. I feel really down. I just don't know what my future will be. I tell God that I don't wanna be like others. I wanna have a bright future. Please help me. And God really helped me. YCK gave me a lot of knowledge. They, they gave me a lot of opportunities. Make myself feel more confident. Then I start to know what is really inside myself, what I can do. We set up Yayasan Child Kid in the area of Child Kid in 2006 particularly for children who are on and off the streets, to give them a safe space for them to hang out and get services and mingle around. We have a center for children known as Pusat Activity Kanak Kanak, and once they graduate from the children's center, they move on to Kuala Lumpur Crash Pad, which is our teenage center. We have almost 30 to 33 students who are refugee and stateless children. So, Whatever they can get from public school, you know, we provide here. The children here, you know, they are they are attracted here because uh, the program that I, we, we do is not so much like a dry subject like what happened in school. It's more fun, you know. We will catch them doing the fun kind of things. From there, then we, then we will narrow down what their needs. We do have like program who build their capacity build their self-confidence, you know, kind of things. Malaysia is an intermediate country. Throughout their period while they are here, then they have very little rights as compared to a Malaysian citizen. For example, the right to work, the right to education, particularly when it comes to children. Refugee children do not get the opportunity to be educated in our country. When I ask people, I say, what do you think a refugee child or a stateless child uh, will become one day, you know. And most of the people will say, oh yeah, you know, I can become a mechanic, can be, 
you know, they're all kind of uh, dangerous and dirty job, you know. So when I came here, I did a career test with them. And uh, all of them was actually wanted to become someone. They want to become a doctor. But one boy, he want to become an astronaut. They had dreams. YCK Center brought me to Justin Bieber's concert in 2010, you know, and it was really great. I feel like, wow, I I never feel like this. I, mean, I never feel like this before. This is my first time listening to music, and I feel something strange inside. You know, yeah. From that, since that, I started to like music. Yeah. My first dream is that I want to be a singer, the most popular singer in the world. I have recorded an album with my friends and I was rapping in English. You know, I was just thinking how life goes. Yeah, it's all about life. My the song is all about life. know what it means to be a boy, finding all the things that bring you joy, thinking on your feet all day and all night, because in life you gotta fight, 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 for all you haters that think you're so tough, this better you will lose because I'm more rough, and lean, and mean, and a rapping machine, my words are sweeter than any seed dream, yeah. <laughs> when I just get on the stage, everyone will scream, Rafi, Rafi, yeah, I just be like, oh, I'm still teenage and I feel like I'm popular. <laughs> Yeah, I feel really happy when I'm on the stage. Sometimes I feel nervous, but when I start to sing, everything's gone. When I learn a lot of things, I can I feel like I have I have so many talents. Like I can sing, I can dance, I can teach people how to dance. Like I also uh, teach my friends how to dance if there is a performance that we have to do. friends feel sad and they think like they don't have any future I don't I don't I don't let them break down because I I support them you know I just I, I say like you you cannot feel like this you also have a bright future you must go on you must hard work for your future go for your future believe in yourself I just you know I want other people to know that being a refugee is not the weakness they think like only they have a bright future they are the only one who can do everything, you know? But refugee is also human. They also have a bright future. They also can learn like them. They are just same. God created us the same. I'm proud to be a refugee because I want to show to others that, you know, not only others can be a singer, can be a bright future, you know? Refugee also can have it, you know, refugee. Uh, could also deserve it, so I want to I want to prove to the others. When I achieve all my dream, I'll start to work with a government company like UNICEF, UNHCR that help refugee kids, refugee community. I, I'll be working with them. Yeah, hope one day I could help from that way. Hope one day.